But let me go back to the main issue, what really happened and created this problem. I proclaimed the House of Assembly. He was in Abuja. Before he left, I called the chairman. The chairman is here. I said, look, I want to I want nominations for commissioners. What we normally do, we will sit down, about five of us, looking at the list, local government and local government, what have been submitted. Ask the, the chairman. That morning, I called him for the meeting. What did he say? He said he will not attend. That is why Isako does not have commissioner. He said he will not attend. I said, okay. Well, let us go ahead. I will still give him that respect for us to consider when he's ready. He then went to Abuja. What struck me, and I've never said this to anybody, is that after I proclaimed the House of Assembly, we're now going to elect officers to the House of Assembly. He was in Abuja. He came back that day. I'm the Chief Security Officer of the state. I get any information I need. But I have that responsibility to keep quiet and use the information properly. My deputy called a leader, a leader, in APC, telling that leader that during the elections the next day of the leadership, speaker, particular speaker of the House of Assembly, that he has five members who are loyal to him, and that he would like the seven members of APC to work with the five members of PDP to produce a speaker. this information will still be corroborated by somebody else. At that point, I called the PDP members to my house just to familiarize with them. And as usual, he tried to barge in. I said, well, you cannot just come to my house. It's my private house. It's not even government house. You have to have the courtesy. But now it is my prerogative whether I want you to come in or not. After I heard what he had done, I said, you can't come into our meeting. We met, agreed. The next day, we went to the House of Assembly. He went there, and we did what we did. As far as I'm concerned, that was not working in our common interest. Why would the, gov the deputy governor seek to have another candidate, another speakership candidate, outside of what the governor wants? Are we working together? That is where I now knew that we had a problem. To say the deputy governor had become so desperate to take over that he would do anything, including undertaking, carrying out a coup against his governor. How can you say you are loyal and you don't do that sort of a thing? What is, was kind of disturbing was the excuses he gave in his petition. This is a matter before the court. I don't want to talk much about it. How can somebody swear to an affidavit, right? A public officer with information that is patently wrong and false that we stopped him from coming into ESCO. Meanwhile, you attended the ESCO and you signed. <laughs> 